Hi, my name is Maria and welcome to my channel MH Books. And today's going to be a quick one, I promise. Um, my book haul for the, my second half of a book haul has been, was filmed on Friday, but it was never it hasn't been put up yet. It needs a lot of editing um, because I was very tired. And I had a family member get very um, sick. So it was filmed on Thursday actually. But a family member got very sick and has been in the hospital since Friday morning. So I have not had time to do much this weekend at all. So I'm filming tonight after being at the hospital, after being at work. So it's been a long day. The buddies are crossing me because they're in the bin put in the next room. And we're going to get through this as quickly as we can because I want my dinner. Um, it's like half nine at night <laughs> and I want my dinner. I haven't had time to eat yet. Um, so this will be quick. It is my Victober um, TBR. It is actually only two books. And yes, it can be done in one. Um, I've seen this from Twitter. So I'm going to go through the prompts here. I have them on screen here. The prompts from um, uh, the, 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 the Victober. For those who don't know this, the, 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 there are some people who don't know. Um, this is October is is about the month of October reading Victorian novels um, Which is books written in the era where Victoria was Queen of Britain and Ireland um, It wasn't the UK then I don't think so the challenges are Ange has their, her challenges read a book by one of the host's favorite authors So that could have been Thomas Hardy Charles Dickens Elizabeth Gaskell or Charlotte Bronte. I am going to pick Charlotte Bronte you will see a theme. Um, Kate challenges read a Victorian book with the proper noun in the title. I will be picking Jane Eyre for this. Um, Katie's book is read a book that was published in the first 10 years of the Victorian era and are published in the last 10 years of the Victorian era. Jane Eyre again. Um, Lucy read a Victorian book uh, written by a woman anonymously or under a pseudonym. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And the group, read a Victorian novel and watch a screen adaptation, Jane Eyre. So, as you might have guessed, I'm going to be reading Jane Eyre. Um, those who have seen my channel before and have watched the relevant videos will see that I actually got a copy of Jane Eyre when I was just a kid. It cost me 2p. It was totally destroyed. Half the pages are missing. But I read it again and again and again. So I obsessively bought copies of Jane Eyre to reread the last couple of years and I've not re read them any, um, any of them yet. So I'll probably be reading the Word Cloud edition, which is gorgeous. But I have this to read at home as well, which is a 1965 um, Folio Society, which has lovely paintings from 1960s of, of the Jane Eyre theme. So yeah, I'm looking forward to them. And then I actually have two books on my TBR, even though I have one book covered. And the book that I was going to read was a, uh, was a Charlotte Riddle book. And the reason I was going to read it, because she, according to this book, and I got this book about three or four months ago, was the most prolific Victorian writer. Um, she wrote over 50 works of fiction. And yet, I'd never heard of her. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit from the blurb at the back of this book about Charlotte Riddle. Um, in case anybody else is interested in reading her or knows about her, you can tell me something about her. So she was the youngest daughter at the High Sheriff of County Antrim. County Antrim is a county in Northern Ireland, so it's on the island of Ireland, um, and was one of the most successful novelists in the Victorian period. Riddle's writing is informed by a loss of comfort and social standing experienced as a young woman upon the death of her father and subsequent move to London, where she struggled as an author to make a living for herself and her ailing mother. She sounds like a character from one of Charlotte's books, don't you think? Um, at last, she found support through a small publisher. Good for her. This is a small publisher too, by the way. It's Tramp Press. Um... And throughout her career, which um, spanned half a century, Riddle produced over 50 works, including novels and short stories. So she was infamous for short stories and her novels. But one of the other things that she was famous for in the Victorian era was her ghost stories, usually set in haunted houses. So I found this, you would have seen this in the book haul that actually went up on 
was it Thursday or Friday? I think it was Thursday. Um, so that part of the book haul actually went up and has this, has this copy in it. So I will be reading her haunted stories because over the month of October, I am going to be doing a ghostly, darkish, gothic-y theme in my reading, I think. There will be some literary, a lot of literary fiction. So it's not necessarily going to be horror. So Charlotte actually, Jane Eyre counts because it does have a ghost, but it's not, I hope this is not a spoiler. If it's a spoiler, just hold your ears for about three seconds. The ghost isn't actually a ghost. Um, <laughs> and so some of these stories I've been reading will be literary fiction. So some of them will be like a person's possessed or they're not possessed. And others will definitely be, there definitely is a ghost. There definitely is a vampire, blah, blah, blah. So there will be, that's the kind of thing that I'm, hoping to go for um i do apologize for the light on this one but i have to film this and, and get some food um life is just crazy at the moment um so this will be your haunted house so there's two stories there's two novellas or two stories How, is that novellas there yeah there'll be novellas they're about 330 pages for the two so the first one is an uninhabited house and it's a story about um they're trying to rent a house but it has a ghost in it and it's causing all sorts of issues to the solicitors who are trying to rent the house. The second one is called Fairy Water and it's about a young couple who are having problems with their, their, their um, they just got married and the new house has a ghost. Um, and it's told from the perspective of their landlord, I believe, and the problems that they have with the ghost. At least one of them is supposed to be funny. So I thought that's what I'd go with. And then me being me, only filmed a book haul. I haven't even got the second half up yet. The second half, by the way, if anybody's interested, it's not going to be, it's going to be all literary fiction, more or less. We know horrors at all or ghost stories in it. But today I picked up two um, Victorian ghost story books. <coughs> so this is a, a connoisseur's collection of Victorian vampire stories and collected by Michael Sims, which who is a horror writer, by the way. I haven't read any of his work. So that's Dracula's Guest. So it has Dracula's Guest, which is a Bram Stoker book. Or not, a short story, I think, included in it. But there's loads of different writers in it. So a nice Victorian story. So I, I will probably dip into this during Victober. But it's more likely a book that I read all the way up till Christmas. Because it's nice to have short story books. Um, up to Christmas. The other one I haven't... Um, read there's a few others i haven't read I'll, I'll, but i'll leave that for a more literary um day <laughs> and the other one which i might dip into is the haunted hotel and other ghost stories the haunted hotel by wiki collins the haunted hotel was quite popular last year in victober because there was a horror th you had to have a horror novel or something included in it and there's only about three or four very famous ones wasn't very popular so it hasn't it's not really the haunted hotel it wasn't very popular most people didn't think it was okay um so i might dip into the short stories i'm not sure i'm actually going to get to the haunted hotel but i did pick up these two today because you know i could use excuse it was victober and they're victorian novels so that's my lot lads um i hope that you all are set and ready for your victober reads I'll be interested to see what they are. Um, for those who really don't like ghostly tales and things, I am. Um, I will be reading mostly that during October. Mostly, they're not all ghosts, but by the time I get to November, I will probably be well interested in reading something that's completely different and far more lighthearted. I'm sure. Um, so I hope whatever you are reading that you're enjoying it and until next time. Bye bye.